superior from technique view. Here we are at C1, C2 rotation. So we know with C1, C2 rotation, we get 45 degrees rotation each direction from that one segment. So we have a couple ways to, actually we're gonna do four different ways to test it. We're gonna get a little crazy. So Antonio, what we're gonna do is, in order to lock out the lower cervical spine, we take the neck and we, we flex it. So that ligamentously locks C2 and below. From that position, we use our belly. We hold it there and we go rotation around that axis. So there's rotation to his left, which is about 45. And then when we go to the right, a little bit less, but similar. Come back. So that's one option. Sometimes you can get even a little bit more creative and get on the joint and actually feel it as opposed to just kind of locking it up and feeling it. So let's do the locking up. Now we can do now, let's say I'm going to rotate that way. I can take this hand, put it on the posterior arch of C1. I can take this hand and put it anterior part of C1. So I'm going to do it on this side so you can see. So here is C1. Anterior is right in front of it. It doesn't feel so good, but it's right in front of it. Right? So what we're going to do is we're going to test turning that way. So my hand goes in the posterior arch. The other hand goes in the anterior part of C1. I flex to that level. Hold these two and I, I rotate around it. And what I'm doing is I'm taking the right side and moving it forward. And the left side, I'm feeling real backwards. And kind of a harder, just like that, harder end feel. Right. So that's number two. Another way we can do it is we, we can lock out the lower cervical spine by side bending. So I can take the whole neck and I side bend it to the right. Keep that. And now I'm going to rotate around that axis. So I'm going to use both my hands to rotate the head. The key is to keep it around the axis. The error is, typically you'll see, is that people rotate and they push and don't use the other hand to guide. So I'm doing like a basketball. Come through here, he rotates. I'm in the angle. I rotate around it and I feel his hand feel like that. That's his rotation to the left. Come through here, side bend him. Come in here, you can see this hand. So again, focus on the, this hand. You'll see this hand goes down towards the table in that direction. Get rotation, you can feel the end point. So we could also do like we did before. We could put a finger on the anterior arch on this side. And the C1 anterior on this side. We go around and we could rotate it. It doesn't feel as good. It's kind of a weird when you have a harder or more succinct end point. Right. And that C1, C2 rotation, Bob Shapiro from the Technique.